like me and don't wear a lot of color and aren't sure how to incorporate pastels into your wardrobe, you can actually incorporate them in your makeup. So I'm going to show you a couple easy ways that you can incorporate pastels into your day-to-day -day makeup look. So one of the easiest ways to incorporate color and pastels into your makeup look is with eyeshadow. So you can use just one color and put it all over your lid for a beautiful look. But you're going to want to start with a white base. This is a multi-stick from Wet n Wild and e.l.f. also has a white eyeshadow putty primer. Using that first is going to give you the most color payoff and to show off that beautiful pastel that you're wearing as an eyeshadow. And you don't need to be limited to any colors when it comes to pastel eyeshadows. So this is the Child Palette from ColourPop. This mint green would be an absolutely beautiful all over lid shade. You could find a purple, you could find a pink, you could even go with a powder blue, which would be absolutely beautiful. If you're not sure about a solid wash of color all over the lid, you could try something like a shimmery pastel shade. So this is a purpley color. It'll give you a nice purple wash of color all over the lid, but it won't be as bright as if you did the white base with the shadow on top of it. Another simple way to incorporate pastels is as eyeliner. So this is from NYX. It is a light purple liner. You could do it as a wing liner or just on top of your lid or even under the lash line with a neutral eyeshadow look on top. Or you could even wet a eyeliner brush with some Fix Plus or a setting spray, dip it into one of these pastel shadows and use it as an eyeliner if you don't want to go out and buy a specific pastel eyeliner. There's also a lot of beautiful pastel lipsticks out there too, like MAC, St. Germain, and if you're going to go with that, Make sure you keep the rest of your face pretty neutral, a basic eye look, maybe some wing liner, because all of the focus is going to be on your beautiful pastel lips. So what I'm going to do is sort of a neutral eye look, and then I'm going to do a wing liner in a pastel for a little pop of color. <laughs> to give my eyes a little bit of definition in the crease so before I go in with something like a color liner. So I'm going to go in with this green and do a pastel wing liner. darker brown shadow and I'm going to sort of outline it a little bit just to give it a little more definition so you can see that I'm wearing eyeliner. So I'm going to use this darker color in the palette. see that there's eyeliner here. You can see that there's eyeliner here, but it's not as defined. And don't be afraid to try something different. If you hate it, 
the worst that happens is you wash it off. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush, a little bit of light brown shadow, and a little bit of dark brown shadow from the same palette, and go underneath the lash line. shadow under my lash line I also won't put mascara and it makes my eyes look huge and like saucers so depending on what mood I'm in with under eye uh, shadow it kind of ties the whole look together uh, and makes my eyes look more almond shaped so I've gone through phases where I do both um, one or the other but right now I'm in an under eye <laughs> shadow phase <laughs> I am going to finish my face. I'm going to put on some mascara and setting spray and lipstick, and I will be right back. Okay, so this is the finished look. I put on a bunch of mascara and a liquid lipstick, and I think it turned out very pretty. So tell me how you are planning on incorporating pastels into your beauty look, and uh, send me some pictures. I can't wait to see it. Bye!